Hello everybody and welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday and we're in Starlight Zone. And I held X as if I needed to do that to run. As if this were some sort of Mario game. Why? Why? Why do those things exist? Whee! Oh, okay. I was supposed to jump there, I assume. Hold on. Okay, couldn't jump there. Try it one more time. All right, never mind. We're just we're just gonna go down. We're just gonna go down instead. It's fine. Hey, a loop. Those are fun. Uh, oh yeah. So I said, oh, uh, bottomless pit, and that's game over. Mm. We're just gonna cut that short. Back to Labyrinth Zone Act One. Anywho. Uh, as I said in the uh, interim between episodes, uh, you know, if you if you didn't know that I had, I, I say I say a little thing between, you know, the that's a wrap and hello everybody, and I put it in the end of the episode where uh, where the end slate is, you know, the cards you can click on and stuff. Yeah, so I, I say a thing, and in the last thing that I said, I said that I just, re just remembered where uh, where I was getting my rule set from when it comes to saving in this run through, and I think I might have got the idea from uh, good old Crash Bandicoot actually, because in the original Crash Bandicoot game. I think the only times you could save, if I remember right, was after a boss, and or uh, after you beat a level hitting all the boxes and not dying. So the whole saving only after not dying thing, whoops, uh, probably came from that. Just, just if I were to uh, theorize my own thoughts. I mean, in that respect, I could also probably justify uh, saving after bosses. But then that would make me even more likely to get myself stuck with one life. And I forgot about that. Oh, I'm glad that I remembered in time. Uh, yeah, that would make me even more likely to uh, save at a point where I've got like one life left. Which is not ideal, since, you know, gaining lives isn't super easy in this game. So. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with my rule. If I beat a level without dying, then I save. Which means we're going through Labyrinth Zone Act 1 again. But if we beat it without dying, then that's, 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 that's profit, you know? We're good. No drowning today. I'm kind of scared to drop dash at any point now, because I'm half convinced that any time I do it will kill me. The slowdown for all the rings. Okay, this is another one that kills you if you stand on it, right? No, no, this is the this is the good one. Okay. Uh, could you not? I would appreciate if you didn't. By the way, Crash is another game that I plan on playing on this channel eventually. Another one of those ones that was just part of my childhood, so obviously it's got to show up here. Fine. Fine. Ah. So yeah, Crash, Spyro, uh, those are some of the ones lined up. Uh, I also want to dive into some of the fan Final Fantasy games. Uh, off the top of my head. 
you know, it's just, just, just to spout things that I plan on playing off the top of my head. Um, you'll probably see The Last of Us Part 2 on this channel, whenever that comes out. Um, I will be going back to other games that I haven't beaten, like Metal Gear, and Pokemon Battle Revolution, and uh, Zelda, which one was it? It was Link's Awakening. That's the one right here. Yeah. The, yeah. I will, I will event, oh yeah, and Streets of Rage, I guess. <laughs> Eventually I will go back to them and I will beat them, but not just yet. We've got a, got a game or two to beat before then, just because I want to, really, no other reason. But when it comes to the uh, game selection on this channel, I mean, part of it is, yeah, what do I think people want to see? But also the other part, and arguably the more important part for, you know, keeping things entertaining is what do I want to play? Because I've said it before, but if I'm not having fun playing a game for the channel, I think it, I think, I think you'll notice. And I think it would make the video less fun, so. Hence why, actually, I explained this at the uh, beginning of the Sonic Mania playthrough. Hence why, when I played uh, Sonic Heroes and I just wasn't enjoying myself, I decided, yeah, this isn't going up on the channel. Bubble, please. Thank you. Uh, that didn't work out. And plus, there are also games that might make a comeback. Uh, like, uh, may may maybe Mario Maker, maybe once I'm done with, uh, making a world or two, maybe I'll throw that back on the loop hoop for a couple episodes, just to, uh, maybe just to show off what I've made. But, uh, and also, another one on the docket is Gravity Rush 2, because, you know, if you watch that playthrough, you know that I thoroughly enjoyed the first game, and I... It wasn't... I can't remember if I knew before going into Gravity Rush that there was a second one, but it, at the very least it was before I finished Gravity Rush that I found out, and... Yeah, that was that was essentially the immediate decision of, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna play that, because... Gravity is fun! At least the first one is. Oh, hold on. I should save here. Because we... I think we just beat Act 1 and 2 without dying, so... Yeah, let's let's save. Uh, okay, yeah, so... But yeah, Gravity Rush 2 will be on the channel. Eventually. I just kind of wanted to give it... Give some time between... Uh, 1 and 2. For the sake of, you know, uh, for, for, for the sake of, you know, just uh, getting more people on board beforehand, you know. So that, like, if they're interested, they can go watch the other part. You know, and the, me, they can watch me play the, go back and watch me play the first game. If they enjoy watching me play the second game. You know, I say they as if I'm not speaking to some of the very people who would be watching that. Uh... Honestly, it's pretty easy for me to forget who I'm talking to. <laughs> because at times it just kind of feels like I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Which, you know, thankfully I'm, you know, decently good at talking to myself, so. Why is everything so slow? Uh, so yeah, and that's... I'm, I'm really glad that this comes somewhat naturally to me. Because I've learned recently that uh, apparently not everyone has an inner voice. You know, that's, that's just not how everyone thinks. And I didn't know that 
for the longest time. That not everyone just had a conversation going in their head all the time. And so that's, you know, the, the fact that I can just take that and say it out loud so that it's just a coherent, well, somewhat coherent, I should say. Uh, so it's a somewhat coherent, you know, string of thoughts, I guess. Is, uh, it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat that I can just, you know, take what I'm thinking and say it and have it make some amount of sense without having to put too much extra thought into it. That being said, uh, there's also this thing called aphantasia, which is a similar, but I don't think technically related thing that, uh, where, uh oh, uh, bubble please, thank you, uh, it has to do with, uh, mental images as opposed to mental hearing, which I was talking about. But yeah, aphantasia, for those who don't know, is essentially the idea that some people, when they imagine things, like visually, say like, you know, a picture of, you know, quiet beach or something, uh, when they're given that prompt, they can, you know, actually, like, see the beach in their head, as if it was, like, right in front of them. Uh, and some people can't. And, you know, there are also varying degrees of, you know, how well you can see it, like how much detail and, you know, how long you can hold it for. Uh, it turns out, uh, I'm kind of on the low end of that spectrum, uh, where, like, I can, if I really concentrate on trying to see an image in my head, I can get, like, maybe, like, flickers of it, but I can't really see much else. Like, certainly not enough to give a detailed description, like some people can. And I definitely just went to the boss area without rings, but that's fine, I guess. Do I have to go over here to make the water go down again? Also, how does the underwater waterfall work? Is it not gonna go down again? Okay, there it goes. <sighs> yeah, it looks like I have to go to the left to get the water to drop. That's funny. Um, yeah, it's kind of, it's interesting, right? You know, it's, it hadn't occurred to me in the past that people just think differently. And like, not even, not even in respect to like ideologies and whatever, it's just like, the basic mechanics of thinking are different for different people. Which is weird. Weird to me, anyway. I guess it could be pretty normal to someone else, but, you know. It's interesting. You know, and it's possibly a useful idea. <sighs> frick, frack, frack, frack. Anyway. Um, you know, it's like, uh, if you know someone thinks a certain way, then you can, or I used to say, like, they, uh, they see, they can see images, but they don't, you know, have a conversation going on in their head, then you know, like, you know, trying to paint an image for them is, in their head is more useful than trying to get them to hear something in their head. I don't know. No, there are ways it could be useful. Like, especially, like, for school and stuff. I mean, I think, and I, I'm fairly certain that feeds into the whole idea of, like, the different types of learning. Because... You know, some people learn better if they're shown something, some people learn better if they hear something, and some people learn better if they do something. And I feel like that ties into, you know, whether you're whether you can see things in your head, whether you can hear things in your head, or whether you can just or, or, you know, maybe you can't do either, or maybe you're better at visualizing processes than you are visualizing images? I don't... I don't know. It's interesting, and it 
it's probably worth looking more into, but uh, it's not exactly my specialty, so I'll leave that to the people with degrees. I mean, even when I get my degree, it won't be <laughs> in that subject, so... <laughs> Oh, man, I'm glad I can say that when I get my degree. Because for quite a while, it was it was less a question of when and more a question of if. <laughs> and I mean, there's still a chance that I don't. But... Now I'm fairly confident that I can finish my degree, even if it's taken twice as long as it was supposed to. Hmm. Hey, we're back in Starlight Zone. But we don't save because we didn't. Uh, beat it without... Beat Labyrinth Zone without dying, so... Or at least Act 3 without dying. Beat Act 1 and 2 without dying, which is pretty neat. Just let me... Just let me jump off the thing. Or that works too. Okay, alright. Uh, I hate these things. I hate those things. They're bad. And they should feel bad. Whew. Okay, well that didn't do what I expected it to do. They have fans like that in other Sonic games, and they definitely do different things. They definitely give you a lot more speed going the other way. I mean, how, what the... How was I supposed to know that was sh gonna shoot a fireball? Wait, haven't you played this game before? Yes, but I've only beaten it once. So I've probably only been in this area once. Huh. Huh. Okay, alright, cool. Ah, that was another fireball spitter. Mm. Neat. Neat. Hey, drop dash came in handy there. Oh, can I get past this with the drop dash? Yeah, looks like that's a no. Okay, fine. We'll go back the other way. And get these. Wait, can this get me past the- no. Alright, fine. We'll go on this spring, and this spring, and this spring, and then we go that spring to get up there, and then this way. And I'm talking about the game again, even though I set out not to. It's fine. Ah, that was in the opposite direction I was expecting. Okay. Oh, sh special stage. Hold on. No. Got it. <laughs> okay. I think that's the only one I've gotten since Green Hill Zone. <laughs> also, I didn't die that stage, so I get to save with one life. Which means I'm probably going to have to beat the rest of the game on one life. You know, it'd be really nice if you could zoom out during these stages. If you can zoom out, that would be nice. That way I could actually see where the goals are, or where the quote-unquote goals are, before I uh, fall into them. But, you know, maybe we'll fix that problem next time. Because, uh, as for this episode, that's a wrap. Oh hey look, we saved with one life left.